In this video we will convert a complex number into a polar form from Cartesian form. So here we have a complex number minus 1 plus root 3 iota. So any complex number can be expressed as x plus iota y where x is the real part and y is the imaginary part of the complex number. So here we can see that the real part of the complex number is minus 1 and the imaginary part of the complex number is root 3 or we can say that x is minus 1 and y is root 3 and this can be expressed as a point on the complex plane where the x component is the real part minus 1 and the y component is the imaginary part root 3 so we can plot this point on a complex plane in which the x component is minus 1 and the y component is root 3 so this point is lying in the second quadrant and it is making an angle of theta with the x-axis so first of all we will find the modulus of the complex number which is r is equal to square root of x square plus y square so r is equal to square root of x is minus 1 so minus 1 square plus y is root 3 so square of root 3 now r is equal to square root of square of minus 1 is 1 and square of root 3 is 3 so r is equal to square root of 4 which is equal to 2 now we will find the angle theta or argument of complex number which is equal to tan inverse y upon x so theta is equal to tan inverse y is root 3 and x is minus 1 and this will be equal to 2 pi by 3 so any complex number x plus iota y can be expressed in polar form as r times cos theta plus iota sin theta so we have minus 1 plus root 3 iota so the modulus r is equal to 2 and the angle theta is equal to 2 pi by 3 so we have cos 2 pi by 3 plus iota sin 2 pi by 3 so the polar form of the complex number minus 1 plus root 3 iota is 2 times cos of 2 pi by 3 plus iota sine of 2 pi by 3.